hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to save or insert radio button list selected text values into SQL server database table and here we got the final output of that code and so before selecting the radio buttons let's minimize And this is a table I want to save the values. I'm selecting the radio button PHP save and we got the message selected radio button list value PHP saved successfully. I'm executing see here we got PHP the course name I'm selecting the second one MVC save MVC saved successfully let's execute again see the MVC also save if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in ASP.NET let's create a table in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio I'm expanding the databases the sample DB is my user database I'm expanding that one now I'm creating a table in this sample DB database right click the folder name new query create table dbo dot radio value id the data type is int i'm adding auto increment column to this table identity 1 comma 1 and I am adding primary key for this table comma course name varcal 25 execute we got a message command completed successfully let's expand the tables refresh the table see here we got the radio value right click that one select top thousand rows and notice in the results of this table radio value contains zero rows let's open my visual studio right now in this asp.net source code contains a simple html5 code with some header tags h1 and h2 and one horizontal line below the horizontal line I'm adding the radio button list control go to toolbox radio button list control I'm adding the one now I'm adding the list items text asp.net value is equals to zero copy one two three the course name is MEC jQuery PHP now after adding the list items into the radio button list now between the radio button list control I'm adding one button control and one label control to display the message go to toolbox button control and the label control I'm deleting the text label property and the button control text value I'm changing to save that's it we have added the required controls in this source code page now switch to the design mode double click the save button and here we got the button click event the first thing I'm adding namespaces of SQL server using system dot data using system dot 
data dot SQL client using system dot configuration now we'll add the connection string data source in the web.config file go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection after adding the server name i'm selecting the database name The sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection succeeded. Click OK. And notice under data connections, we've got the sample db.dbo. Now, right click that one, go to properties, connection string, just copy the whole part. Copy that one. We'll add this data source connection string property to the into web.config file. Open web.config file. Usually the data connection string default is added when we add the sample db.dbo connection. But I deleted my previous connection string. There's a reason it's not added. So here I'm adding manually connection strings. Add name. The name is my connection connection string I'm pasting here the data source property provider name system dot data dot SQL client once we add the data source connection string in the web.config file switch to the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i'm adding my connection string name which is my connection pasting here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection which takes the parameter of main connection object main con string sql query now the sql statement is an insert statement insert into the table name is dbo dot radio value the column name is course name values at column name course name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is a SQL query statement and second one is a SQL connection string this one SQL con object SQL connection dot open method SQL command dot parameters dot add with value this one the column name at course name and the second parameter is the object value here the object is a radio button ID radio button list one dot selected item dot text sql command dot execute non query method i'm closing the connection string sql connection dot close method after insert the record successfully i want to display the message in the label control label one dot text is equals to selected radio button list value plus plus between this plus plus I am adding the this one
sail successfully. That's it. Let's check the results on the Google Chrome. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output of that code. And before selecting the radio buttons, let's minimize. And this is a table I want to save the values. I'm selecting the radio button PHP save and we got the message selected radio button list value PHP saved successfully. I'm executing. See here we got PHP the course name. I'm selecting the second one MVC save. MVC saved successfully. Let's execute again. See the MVC also saved. That's it.